right? Oh yeah, they were saying something about cloud because like they in their presentation they were saying something about how like cloud they were talking about cloud seeding a lot. And like I think after the presentation, the when we were talking to the guy in private, he said that like yeah, cloud seeding could be considered a form of geoengineering, mm-hmm. but like ge- like I don't know. Yeah, you and know, he said, me. and we don't really know what the military is doing. Yeah, we don't really know what the military is doing. So you put those two together, and right? Like, which equals it's possible the military is doing cloud seeding, which is a form of ge- geoengineering, which isn't happening. Which doesn't yeah. exist, right? <laughs> That's what we concluded. <laughs> uh, I, I have a, a 132-page PDF on my channel page, uh, right under, I guess, personal information. Do you hit that? And it's the entire aerosol spray project. Well, let's just give the listeners your info. On YouTube, your username is Believers Underground. Correct. Right. So if they go to YouTube, user Believers Underground, then they're going to find these this information about geoengineering. Oh yeah. And what kind of information do you have in there? Uh, this one's a governmental uh, PDF. Uh, it's 132 pages. Uh, it talks about all the stuff that's inside this stuff that they're spraying uh, through the ICCP. Uh, uh, it, it, it's incredible read. Uh, it, one of the elements that is in it is particle A. Now, particle A is atomic, and this is one of these things that they were doing to, uh, I guess it's Aeronet and uh, CERN through Project ALICE. You see, these guys think 20, 30 years out. And Project ALICE? Uh, yeah, Project ALICE. It, it, it's a part of the Hedron Collider. Uh, basically, it's a time projection funnel. Uh, I, I also have that link up on my site, too. Uh, but what they're trying to do is they're, they're, they're going to have a teleportation device. <laughs> this is uh, who talking about this? The government? Uh, they, they've already got it in the works. As a matter of fact, there's some, some stuff on YouTube I've seen come out of those people. I mean, <laughs> wow. This, this, this is like beam me up Scotty kind of stuff? Correct, absolutely. So the government is, is working on teleporting themselves. So, for example, like Obama could be in, in the U.S., and, and a moment later he could be in Europe. Correct. Uh, the, the problem that they're working on now is the power supply. Uh, it takes a lot of power. Uh, I mean, even just to send a little bit of things. But they just got this 197 uh, lasers that uh, shoot off all simultaneously. And, and bunch up to one laser that is uh, supercharged as all these beams go through it, and it hits a, a, a nuclei of, say, hydrogen. And, and it causes a, a nuclear fusion. So, you know, you're talking unlimited energy. And, heck, they got that right here in California. <laughs> and, and I saw stuff on YouTube on that one, too. Uh, these are all government-funded projects. They have to. They have to have something out there. That says, hey, this is what we did with your money. So the the YouTube videos that you see are they from the government or are they information that somebody put together about this stuff? Uh, no, the some of them are out of CERN. They're they're real proud about their accomplishments. Uh, you know, they they love patting each other on the back and. Coming up with these wild ideas that, you know, man, they're, they're setting off a chain of events that is mind boggling. Yeah, you know, I, I've, been, I've been hearing a lot of chatter on, on HARP. You know, they, they've been saying HARP causes earthquakes and stuff. Now, I, I've seen an earthquake that was real bizarre in San Diego a little while ago where the earthquake happened in the air. Okay. In the air? In the air. What the USDF didn't even know what to make of it. What does that mean? How can an earthquake happen in the air? Well, they just put a sonic boom and put a question next to it, a question mark next to it. They didn't know. Uh, but, like, with all these massive earthquakes that are happening, uh, this, is, this is just happening as nature dictates it. Uh, with HARP, if, if it has the capability of firing off an earthquake, I, the only reason I would see them trying to do that is like a, a preemptive strike on, on a larger quake. 
But you don't know what kind of geo damage that causes across the board. So for them to shoot that device to cause a quake could cause a chain reaction of unknown consequences. So I, I don't really see them using that as an earthquake device. I see it more as telecommunications. Well, um, I had done a video about the earthquakes and, and well, HARP's capacity to cause earthquakes, and I'd come across some... Uh, some uh, video footage actually of Brooks Agnew talking about, or is it Andrews? Sorry, I can't remember his last name, but he's an earth tomographer, and I mentioned him in my video, and he was saying that it's like have the strings on a piano, and that you can, with, with the harp, you send the beam down into the ground, and you get a certain kind of sound, and you know what type of material you found, but if you use too much energy doing this, that you basically can cause an earthquake. So, yeah, he's I, an I mean, earth tomographer. Next to this stuff, I, it, that's uh, kind of like Tesla's principle, you know, uh, of his little earthquake device that he created a long time ago, and it basically works on vibration principles. And, and you know, hey, you get enough vibration going, it's going to trigger something. So it's 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 possible to use it. It's, it's just we we can't prove that they do. But when I looked at the the, the um, harp induction magnetometer, this instrument that they show the readings, you can and see it was them low on the frequency. Yeah, you can see them on the internet. And normally, when they have you know events um, with um, like sub magnetic substorms and things like that, it'll show some activity on the graph but the day of the Haiti earthquake it was very strange because the lines were going there were these vertical lines like one after the other and then they were crossed with horizontal bands that were straight across so it's like the frequency was very very steady straight across for about a day before the earthquake and then just and then it stopped and right when it stopped that's when they had this massive earthquake so a lot of people looked at this and said that looks like it, something was man made yeah I uh, you know, it, it was kind of like that, uh, uh, well, I, I'll, I'll just stay focused on this. Uh, those islands, they were already saying that they, that, that place is going to get hit with a quake. Uh, that, that harm thing, here's something interesting. In Fresno, about 40 miles from where I'm at, they have committed $2 billion to build a whole set of, uh, uh, what are they called, antennas to receive energy from the sky. Mm -hmm. Two billion dollar project. And I think it covers like uh, five square miles of uh, antennas. And they said that it would produce energy for a million customers. Okay, so they're trying to take energy from the sky and harness that it? That's correct. The, they're going after, I guess, Tesla's free energy. That I guess, what was it, Westinghouse next or something back in the day? But uh, you know, they got all his files, and this dude was mega brilliant. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's interesting with that Star Wars thing? We'll go back over to the the hard thing because that was initially a Star Wars thing, a, a plasma fuel to, to knock down missiles. So they stated. That's but, what Harp was for? Yeah, that was what it was originally for. That was, that was uh, Reagan's Star Wars stuff. Well, we're going, we're going into going a break. We'll be right back with more Truth or Girls. This is an emergency alert. People don't die of H1N1 infection. They die from system-wide intoxication and toxic shock. Doctors call it the cytokine storm following infection and immune hyperstimulation. Vaccines with immune stimulants or toxic drugs chemicalize your body, adding to your death risk. Prevent death and reverse diseases from infections, vaccinations, and drug toxicity. Call this number to get my free special report about the flu and what to do to save lives, maybe even your own. I'm Dr. Leonard Horowitz. Order Zeolife, the world's most powerful broad-spectrum detoxifier, immune system guard, and vaccine cleanse. Avoid vaccinations and drugs. Use Zeolife and oxysilver hydrosol instead to detox and de-germ your body. Stop the shock of toxicity and preventable death. Call 1-888-KO-GERMS. That's 1-888-KO-GERMS. Or visit zeolife.net and oxysilver.net and order your free report and packet special. 
Attention, an important product from HempUSA.org, Micro Plant Powder, will change your life by removing all types of positive toxins, such as heavy